All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last couple of videos, we airlocked our wort or unfermented beer and we set it in a closet. Now we got to wait two weeks and we set it with the proper temperature control. Well, what are we going to do for these next two weeks while our yeast turns our sugar into alcohol? Collect and delabel bottles. That's right. No matter what, never buy empty bottles from your local brew store. Honest to God, it's like the same price as beer. 12 12 ounce bottles for 10 bucks it's crazy okay so save your bottles the more you get into home brewing the more you will appreciate glass these glasses are from the last couple weeks they're still good i save them my dad gives them to me i probably used them through four or five cycles of beer my neighbors know to give me theirs it's awesome in this video we're going to learn how to clean our glass and de and delabel each beer okay so first things first any non twist off dark bottle will work perfect for our homebrew we have five gallons of beer so we're going to need about 45 12 ounce bottles i have growlers and grumplers so i'm not going to use 45 bottles i'll use about 25 to 30. it's all up to you there's no right or wrong for super strong beers though like eight percent and above i always use 12 ounce bottles never a 64 ounce growler but hey that's just me and for the record grumplers are 32 ounces and growlers are 64 ounces growlers are four pints Okay, so we got my dirties over here, and all we're gonna use is hot water. I just crank my sink all the way up and fill up the left side of your sink. I just kind of fill it up as I fill up my bottles, make sure that the water doesn't drain out. Even really stinky bottles will clean up with hot sink water. Hot sink water. Give them a, a sniff and determine how many rinses it should get. Unless the bottle smells really bad, uh, give it a few, but make sure all the other, just make sure all the beer is out of the bottles and then fill it up with water, hot water, and put it to the left side of the sink. Okay, so outside of the bottles being dark and non-twist off, there's not too many rules. Uh, I truly enjoy using Lagunitas bottles. For one, I love their beer. For two, there's only one label. For instance, Sierra Nevada uses the exact same bottle, but there are three labels the front, the back, and the neck. So there's three times as much scrubbing. I also like the way the bottle looks for presentation. It's stubby with a short neck. Pacifico is okay, but the bottle looks more awkward. Uh, but a positive is that Pacifico label is really easy to take off. And there's just one label on the front. Uh, this is just a personal opinion. Glass is glass. But do not use ballast point bottles. It's way too much work. Their labels and adhesive are a serious struggle to take off. You'll see in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to clean out some grumplers and growlers. Belching Beaver is one of my top five breweries. I love that joint. So fill your sink up with as many bottles as you can. You might have to do two or three trips, two or three times. And uh, I usually let the bottle sit for about 10 minutes. Now I take a butter knife and I use the non-cutting side to scrape the labels off. I usually grab the bottles from the bottom because they have been in the hot water the longest, making their labels the weakest. Once the majority of the labels off, I just use a sponge to get the glue or adhesive off the bottle. I would just keep wetting the bottle and hitting it with the sponge, wet the sponge, wet the bottle. Stack your clean bottles off to the side somewhere and just keep repeating the process. See, this is why I don't use ballast point bottles it's by far the most difficult bottle to to label i'll probably just recycle this one and if you guys have any bottles you come across with that are easy to take off let me know post it to the comment section below i'd love to try something new so just make sure you keep all the wet labels in the sink and not down the drain i have destroyed a garbage disposable before from this just keep repeating the process keep scrubbing and adding glass to your collection Okay, so now I'm done. I got all my bottles here, but now I got to rinse the sink out, but I got to be very careful because all the wet labels will go down the drain, and we don't want that. So I'm going to rinse it slowly, and it's not the end of the world if some small parts of paper happen to squeak through. So now I'm going to fast forward. Now that it's drained, I'm going to gather up all these labels in a wad and I'm going to throw them away. And there's a couple little ones to the left and the right. I'm not too worried about it. As long as the majority of the paper doesn't go down my garbage disposal, life is good. All right, guys. Well, good luck with this. In the next video, we will rack our carboy to our bottling bucket and get ready to bottle because our yeast has turned our sugar into alcohol or beer. It's going to be uncarbonated beer. I'll see you guys over there. All right. Good luck.